Okay guys, so today we're going to be looking at a quick um, tip on stripping paint off well, whatever model you want to get the paint off actually. Um, all I'm going to use for this is Mr. Muscle, uh, the heavy duty oven cleaner. You can use other oven, oven cleaners but I just know this stuff works on any type of paint. Now this stuff is really, really fumy and you're not supposed to breathe it so make sure you have a mask on. Um, I haven't actually got a mask at the moment but I've got a fan behind me blowing all the fumes forward. It is very nasty and smelly and you're not supposed to um, touch it or anything like that. But um, all you do, it works really quick. You just put it on. It's almost jelly-like. It's so thick when you first put it on. Okay, and you just spread it over wherever you want to clean. Put it on really nice and thick. Put plenty on there. Give it a few seconds for it to start working. Now you can use like pure alcohol as well. Um, you, you, if you can buy it, I mean, it's you, you can get hold of it, but um, it's more of a it takes time for it to sort of sink into the paint and, and chew it up. Um, with muscle cleaner as well, what you can do is spray the whole model um, and then sort of scrub it down a little bit, put it in a plastic bag like a sealable plastic bag, let it soak for you know like overnight or whatever, and then come back and then like brush it off. The brush you use has got to be an old brush obviously because you're going to pretty much ruin it and fairly stiff as well so you can really rub into it. Now I've got all types of paint on here, I've got Alclads, I've got the AK Interactive stuff, I've got um, some old like undercoat, um, there's grey to me or undercoat under here, there's all types of layers of paint on this thing, I use it to, for demos and stuff like that. So this video will show you just how good this stuff really chews through doesn't matter what type of paint you got on there it is going to chew through it okay so I'm giving this a bit of a rub now now wherever there's panel lines like I've got panel lines out on the tip of the wing I'll just bring this in a little bit for you so you can see it much better okay there's panel lines all along this wing down here make sure you get the ends of your bristles into those panel lines to make sure you get all the paint out of the panel lines as well now you can see I've only left that for a minute or so, you know, you can see how quick it's worked on there, but that's gone straight back to the plastic underneath. Okay, and all I do, I have some paper towel or tissue or something here, and I'll just wipe off the excess like so. Okay, and then all I do is I go around, I have a, a tub of water beside me. I get a, a big brush like something fairly, um, I'll grab one over the side here to show you, you know, something like this guy. Okay, dip it in the water and give it a good old brush over with that and that gets the excess off and keep wiping it over with rags or tissues or paper towel or whatever and it will really really clean it up okay because that stuff breaks down with water okay, so I've just got a bit of water there on that brush okay give it a rub over like so okay and it's just gonna get the rest of that off there okay now, if there is any left behind, I'm sorry about that, my hand was in the road then, but if there's any left behind, just dip your brush, give it another coat and rip into it. it, it it's the quickest way I know of stripping paint off, and like I say, I haven't found a paint yet that it doesn't attack. It'll, it'll take anything off. Um, with the glues, I mainly use Tamiya Extra Thin, uh, I use a bit of super glue. I haven't found that it affects those at all. I've used the Revel glue as well, doesn't seem to break into that. Um, but that's one of the reasons I don't let the model soak overnight in a bag because um, I have heard stories where it attacks certain glues and when you go to take it out of the bag the whole model just falls to pieces. I mean it's okay, it's not like a disaster, you can put the thing back together obviously but um, it's just a bit more time involved in that um, and as you see you can do it like this and it's, it's just, you know, it's very quick, it really rips into it quick. Uh, but like I say, wear a mask guys, it's really pongy, smelly stuff. Um, don't get it on your hands. I've been very careful here in this demo not to get it on your hands. If you do get it on your fingers, wash it in water straight away. Um, if you don't, I have had this on my fingers and left it on there too long, then the next day the skin's actually rolling off your fingers. It's it's that nasty. So you really don't want to be playing with the stuff with bare hands, guys. Get yourself some gloves, okay? Well, hopefully that's a handy tip for you, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.